Cerberus, Sentinel. Hello there. Channel open. One moment, please. Greetings. I am Dr. Rick Feynman, chief scientist of the Oberth and in charge of Project Genesis. Our research vessel is currently observing anomalies and gravimetric shears in this region. Oh, it's just part of our gravimetric studies. For now, it's just a mass of data from our sensors, but we'll publish our research once it is concluded. Anything else? We are currently lacking antimatter cells to complete our observations. If you can organize a delivery to this vessel, we'll be able to greatly advance our timetable. It appears that they are researching the same anomaly which brought the station over here. Most of the gravimetric charge dispersed during that event, but they brought quite an array of equipment to examine the traces. Let us hope that this satisfies their curiosity and leads to their departure. Hello. Research team thanks you for your cooperation. We need your help in putting this antimatter to good use. We will need ships at the specified locations to initiate a synchronized long-range scan. We will be enlisting, but if you have any friends who could join us, 
now would be a good time to ask them along. It looks like you're positioning your ship for the synchronized scan. Please try to be precise. We don't want junk readings cluttering up our database. Once you initiate the scan from your ship, the other captains will follow your lead. Hello there. Very good. We are receiving the data stream. We've got what we were after. Thank you for your support. We're far from home short on hands, and have additional tasks which need doing. If you're interested, please meet me on our ship.
Eclipse, Vanguard. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Greetings. Losing access to our research facility was what prompted this expedition. Now we have not only located our facility, but also taken precautions. If it disappears from under our noses again, we won't have such a hard time tracking it down. We've prepared some software which will help us regain access, but our ship isn't really inconspicuous enough to plant it on our station. The malware should be subtle enough to go unnoticed by the current occupant. It will be your job to plant it at this location, identified by our analysts. According to the annotation on the station plans, there should be a signal leak next to what looks like either a valve or a window, but you'll find out when you get there. Greetings. We need you to plant the malware on the station. I expect this to be completed soon. You can manage priorities, I assume? You must surely have heard stories about the Boron, once known as a wise and noble people. The community of planets hasn't heard anything from them in quite a while, so we don't know what happened to them after the gate shut down, or even if there are any of them left out there. However, one of them is still among us, and from what we can gather, he is a renegade and has turned criminal. Can't really blame him. If I were trapped in the midst of Agnu societies for decades, I too would be tempted to take advantage, one way or the other. This one chose to take our station to reside in. Anything else? After Sagarian intelligence identified the Boron as the perpetrator in this incident, we had them dig deeper. He had connections to split criminals. They, however, went off-grid and remain somewhat of a mystery. Either way, the Boron is well-connected among and backed by various shady characters. His own technical proficiency, paired with the criminal network he built around himself, makes him capable of anything. Do not underestimate this criminal. Anything else? Despite the noble reputation the Boron hold, this particular specimen has clearly signaled his intentions by stealing a station. Since we can't be sure what else he might be capable of, it's imperative that we don't Hello make there. him see us as his enemy. We can't risk making him aware of our intent, otherwise we won't stand a chance against any measures he decides to take. Proceed with caution, and do not allow any intel to be leaked to the Boron. Anything else? Bye.
Inquisitors to infiltrate the station with their malware so that I can take a look at it. Docking granted. Successfully docked. What is it now? What is this? He... he gave you our research? Unbelievable! But you were supposed to plant software. How did that happen? I clearly underestimated this Boron and his capabilities. This means we can continue with Project Genesis. It is our uttermost priority. We'd better not make an enemy of the Boron, so we'll leave him in possession of our station for the time being. We'll have to come back better prepared if we want to recover our station. I didn't think we'd make progress this fast. Hello. Regardless, Hello. we could do with a little more of your assistance. You'll be helping one of our associates in acquiring research that is vital to Project Genesis. An independent scientist. Let me contact them. Greetings. We are sending you the pilot you request. Ah, uh, is this creature qualified? Yes. No, no, don't worry. This one's at least a two-star pilot. Expecting him at the experiment site. <laughs> okay. He is heading your way. That's settled. Report to Kuruman Kami. They are experimenting with a phenomenon in the void and will instruct you on your part once you get there. This may seem unconnected at first, but rest assured, you are helping mold our future. It seems that you are missing crucial spacesuit equipment. Take this with you. It will be useful later on. They are hoping to colonize a planet as a new home for their people. The Terrans once meddled with such terraforming technology, which resulted in the creation of the Xenon. Let us hope that the Sigara's pioneers are not repeating their mistake. <laughs> Ah. 
Hello there.